Hello, welcome back to the Handful of Bananas podcast. We're on number six, guys. How exciting is this? In this podcast, we're going to be doing an interview with one of our new community members and streamers, Rox. Share some of the best bits of the streams with you all to listen to. We'll also have an exclusive Jonesy karaoke session. These are becoming standard at this point. I really hope you enjoy the podcast. Here is a handful of bananas. I think I've already kind of started with uh, rocks without even realizing. Just you know, just, let's talk a bit about you. Um, I'm probably gonna just, just having a chat. Just having a <laughs> chat. It's just, it's just what the podcast is all about. So I recently met your ox. So we've met through Discord. Um, you wanting to get to know us a little bit more. So. Um, so, do you want to just tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, so, um, Roxora, I am uh, a content creator on uh, Twitch and YouTube. Uh, I am also a game designer um, by education, so I kind of uh, incorporate that into my content. Um, I primarily started streaming um, for Kingdom Hearts and also Magic the Gathering, and then a, um, a kind of new area opened up for a kind of Magic spinoff game called Magic Spell Slingers, and that's been the majority of my content right now. Um, just trying to help people kind of navigate the new game and, and the new space. So yeah, I kind of make my content like kind of instructionary and, and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I, I just enjoy game, those kind of games. Uh, I'm kind of like an academic thinker in that regard again, because it's kind of my career. Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, you've really caught me saying that you're a games designer. I assume is that are you a private indie company or do you work for a big developer? So currently, I work, actually work for a mili military contractor. Uh, I do very similar work, um, but yeah, I have some other kind of projects on the side, uh, and then uh, along with again my my content creation that kind of keeps me busy. That's really cool. It's very rare you come across someone who's actually a game designer, and I keep saying this every time I do one of these podcasts. It's rare I come across a music producer or. There's always some niche that people do, so yeah, that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Have you got any games that have already been released, or are you still working on your first? Uh, I'm kind of still working on getting something uh, on, uh, you know, any some of the the stores. Uh, you know, kind of kind of putting things on um, the stores is kind of the the difficult part, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, making it, you know, you can do that, uh, you know, and and uh, but but getting it onto the store and getting it approved and that kind of stuff uh, tends to be a little bit more difficult sometimes is that like the the rating system or is it more of them needing to review your content Re reviewing it and also like the, the the biggest issue is a deliverable so like it has to be in a certain format so like i worked on this like ginormous project um and the game itself was very playable in our editor and then the issue came about when we tried to uh put it onto mobile um, which is where it was going to be, um, and the Android uh, uh, build portion, you know, be, was was very difficult. Uh, but we eventually got that, and then we tried to do iOS. Uh, but it was it was hilarious. You'd open up the app, you'd see a black screen, and then the app would crash. Uh, it's great. So yeah, it it's very easy to be like, oh yeah, just make a game, and and nobody really realizes like all all of the stuff that that goes into it, you know. Yeah, you got to think it's the simple things such as all the different versions of Android and different devices that you have to become compatible for. Um, yeah, now hats off to you guys because I know how much of a hard work it is. It's not just you have an idea, you draw a picture and it's it's done. It takes years of investment, bug reporting and yeah, hats off to you. And I hope, hopefully your game gets finally released and you can share it with us and we can play it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, so you said you're a content creator and you stream as well. So you stream generally some game designing and Kingdom Hearts, you say? That's your content. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mo again, at this point, it's mostly the the Magic Spell Slingers. But again, I try and gear it more towards like um, helping people play the game because I can play the game myself. But it's like a, I try to make my content like instructive. So what got you into streaming in the first place? Was it through the game designing or was it something else that sparked your interest? It, that's uh well it's it's funny for me i don't know if it's a particularly interesting story but quite literally it was just you know I, so i i i played i've been playing magic the gathering for about 10 years now and i used to do a lot of competing uh pre-covid uh <laughs> um you know traveling to various tournaments and 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 things like that 
Um, and so just kind of, you know, revered very highly by my friend group. And so when uh, I think a couple of my friends had like gotten back into the game or gotten more into the game, they were kind of looking for someone to um, kind of guide them. Um, so like one of my friends was like trying to do drafting and he was like, hey, can you can you help me like do this? And I was like, sure. And so quite literally, I just, you know, started um, streaming or like making videos or whatever for my friends as an instructional thing for my friends. It was not like, a, oh, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be the next ninja or whatever, you know, uh, it was just my friends needed this. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll make something up. That's really cool. It's always interesting to hear how different people fall into streaming. Um, I purely did it just because friends were thought, you know what, let's try something different. Let's just be a bit quirky and play Fall Guys, but on stream together. And it just kind of mm -hmm. snowballed from there. So it's always nice to hear how we all eventually meet in some way. Yeah, but my, one of my friends is trying, is still trying to, this very day, getting me to become a VTuber. I, I'm very resistant <laughs> to that, but but otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm game. <laughs> Is anybody else here in chat into watching VTubers? Oh, I'm no. actually, I'm actually quite against VTubers, but not because <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll share my reasoning at a later time. I don't hate them, but I don't watch them okay. for reasons. Interesting. It's always intrigued me as VTubers because you've come for again. Everybody's got their own opinion. Um, I I look at a VTuber streamer and think do you know who the streamer is D can you see their facial reactions and the vtubers don't get me wrong are getting better with the technology to show you the the facial tracking as well as the body movements but still you're coming for the game do you stay for the streamer and vtubers are massive like i've seen people on twitch with tens of thousands of view uh, viewers watching a vtuber so something clearly clicks with audiences i just don't personally see it lasting a long time as a viewer to stick with that content creator once you've seen it have you, have you seen it all what, what do you think the barrier is what what you're worried about becoming a vtuber for so, so for me it was more of just like a, i i put a lot of emphasis i get into kind of you know r relating and being personable to my audience again like being there to, to kind of instruct them um and so for me it just like didn't feel as personal the other kind of like less uh you know important thing is more of just like i don't really feel like putting all the effort into getting the getting a model or something uh and you know having having to worry about you know that um you know it's much easier to just kind of put my camera up make myself look a little, somewhat presentable <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, and go from there also my my friend again who was wanting me to do it he designed like he was like use this as your avatar and he made like a a, a keyblade with a face on it uh, and that was kind of weird so i was like no what's your next goal what are you next doing is there a goal for your streams? Is there a goal for your your game itself? Is the next goal to get it released, or what's the next step for you? So I I recently reached affiliate status actually, oh, nice. um, and thank you. Uh, so really, my goal right now is to just kind of uh, figure out what I else I can do with spell slingers. Again, spell slingers is is very new, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the thing that propelled me uh, into this position, and so kind of my goal is to figure out what my next goal should be right <laughs> um you know i have a, a couple of people in my chat I, I actually one of my streams there was a lead developer for the game uh in like in my chat chatting with me uh, right so like maybe i do something you know with the developers you know maybe you know something like that you know or or, or something um in relation to the game maybe i put on a tournament or something i don't know just figure out what i can do uh from from this point to kind of because my goal is to elevate the game itself, right? Because the more I help the game uh, become more popular, right? The the more it kind of benefits me. No, oh, awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely give me a nudge when things start moving forward again, because I'm, I'm intrigued. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> can you give us a little bit of a shout out where people can find you? Yeah, so uh, my Twitch is, as it is, uh, Roxora098. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel under the same name. Um, I made a TikTok. I don't really like TikTok or use it, so. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, the, uh, pretty much those places. I do pretty much the same stuff on uh, on both of those. So yeah, check no, me out. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing yourself with us and being brave enough to be on the podcast as well. Appreciate it. 
Um, yeah, thank you for having me. We would more than likely um, be happy to hear from you again in the future. If you've got any updates for us, feel free to jump into future podcast sessions and let us know how you're getting on. Absolutely. So now we're going to move over to some of the best bits of the Twitch clips over the last couple of weeks. Uh, orbs in the hallway, the more. <laughs> We should change the name of orbs to where they're based. So if they're based in the hallway, they become hobs. If they're in the bedroom, Wait, so they're called was... bobs. Okay, so now orbs are morbs then. So it depends where they are. So if they're in the kitchen, the cobs. Living room, the lobs. Garage, the gobs. You could do griting, kiting, where hiting for ghostwriting. What about bedroom? So that'll be biting. <laughs> biting. <laughs> Lip biting. <laughs> so I'm in the bedroom, biting, biting, biting in the bedroom. <laughs> There's bobs. I'm seeing the bobs. Binger prints. <laughs> it's bees and bumps in the bedroom. Bees and bumps. Where are you? Oh, we got. Oh, gosh, right in. Oh no, no, host hiding. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, did I just see you? Who? Did I just see the dots right there? I mean, hot. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. So it hot hot ejector. <laughs> oh my god! You killed me now. Spirit box. No, what? No, it's not a spirit box. It's a spirit box. Spirit hawks. Oh, right, it's, not, it's not fingerprints. It's not fingerprints. I can assure. I can confirm. Okay. Okay, uh, Good. Finger pins. <laughs> Binger pins. <laughs> Binger pins. <laughs> Fucking Dave. Well, <laughs> BMF. <laughs> Where's the EMF? Where's the EMF? I want the EMF, please. Give me the EMF. Give me the EMF. It's the EMF. Gaming, are you ready for my new sound effect? Yes. Hit me with it. Beat me, daddy. <laughs> Oh, no! No, no! Are you there? That's a good sound clip of me. Oh, bit me, daddy. <laughs> when I say gobs, I mean ghost orbs. It's a, a Yorkshire thing. I like to shorten my words. It's that on the road. On the road. To, sh to, to shop. shops we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bicky and a brew. <laughs> Fancy a brew and a bicky? Sarge is like, what the fucking hell are you talking about? We've got all the evidence and all the objectives. Beat me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you should do Are that. You... <laughs> you should do that when we're having a really serious conversation. It's like proper, like, really adult. And then just randomly you push that button. Because it sounds like it's you talking. <laughs> so we're talking about, I don't right know, enough. like, tragic loss. Beat me, daddy. <laughs> I am definitely going to get hunted here. Ah, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's a fucking child. I've never heard anybody as demonic as say. Run! 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 Oh my goodness. That is like the perfect sound clip for a, a song somewhere. I'm dead. So once again, I've made a promise at the start of this podcast and you're now going to hear the most chaotic collaboration we have done yet. It's fantastic. Here is Jonesy doing Jonesy Assey. Jesus Christ! Be dwelling, be constant land. In meditation, go deep in the heart. In human brothers, be gentle and kind. In 
in speech be true. In food be just. In daily life be competent. In the action, be aware of the time and the season. Push me, and then discharge me, till I can get my satisfaction. Push me, and then discharge me, till I can get my... Satisfaction. Push me and then discharge me till I can get my satisfaction. Push me and then discharge me till I can get my satisfaction. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And here is now Jonesy singing another amazing song, Caramel Dance Queen. Wonder, are you ready to join us now? Hands in the air, we will show you how. Come and try. Caramel will be your guide. So come and leave your hips singing wah ah ah. Look at your triplets doing la la la. You and me can sing this melody. Whoa, whoa, sensitivity. I hope you've enjoyed this shorter episode of Handful of Bananas today. For some chaos, some fun, you know what it's all about here on this channel and this podcast. 
I look forward to seeing you again next time where we will interview another community member of ours and do some more random sussiness. See you next time.